Well, you do have the warm air, but it's coming with a trade off. That's some scattered showers and some gusty winds. I want to show you the current wind gusts right now. We're reaching 30 mile per hour wind gusts in Providence, but nearly 40 mile per hour gusts up in Taunton. And we've been gusting to 35 miles per hour in New Bedford. These gusty winds will continue this afternoon and into this evening. That wind direction from the southwest just pushing in all that mild air. And many spots here, especially because we're expecting a little lull in the rainfall, should make it up to near 60 inland. Providence, you're not far from it right now at 58 degrees, 57 in Taunton, Smithfield's at 55, and we're running in the lower 50s along the coastline, a little cooler with the wind off the water. You also have a couple of showers still racing through along the shore right now. These are lifting up towards the east and northeast, so some showers moving through Narragansett and Newport right now, and we still have a few raindrops around Charlestown up into Boston, that downpour quickly racing eastward, and we should again have a a little break in the activity before uh, the cold front gets a little closer to us and another round of some showers and downpours likely this evening. It does give way though just in time for a dry weekend. Both Saturday and Sunday look storm free and a little cooler than normal next week. North Kingstown, you can see the winds shaking the trees around there and uh, a lot of melting just since this morning has uh, happened in North Situate. We still had snow on the grass there now just reduced to a few piles of uh, well, dirty snow. Looking at our temperatures right now, very, very warm across the eastern U.S. Philly's close to 70. Richmond's in the 70s. Even Pittsburgh's still warmer than normal, but the front has come through there and colder air is a little bit delayed. There's the front right now crossing Pennsylvania and New York and we'll move across New England late this evening and overnight tonight. Again, we'll still benefit from a mild night and that'll lead to slightly warmer than normal temperatures tomorrow. Heading home from work this evening, well, it's still close to 60 degrees. Definitely feeling like spring. As the evening wears on, we start to see some showers and even a thunderstorm fire up. This is around 8 o'clock in the evening. And notice again, even in the evening hours, those temperatures are very, very mild. 1030 at night, back edge of most of this activity going to start to work its way offshore, and we are back to drier conditions for tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow is going to feature mainly sunny skies with high temperatures. Well, cooler than today, only upper 40s to around 50 degrees. It's still looking pretty good for the Newport St. Patrick's Day Parade. We've had snow, we've had rain, we've had big storm systems on this day, not this year. Sunshine, just windy, and those winds will make it feel cooler. So we're in the mid to upper 40s, but what you'll want to dress for is the wind chill Saturday. That'll be in the upper 30s to lower 40s. And it's a little bit cooler on Sunday, but the winds are lighter, so it all kind of evens out with sunshine. A chilly night Saturday night temperatures drop quickly, so down to around 25 degrees and then sunshine continues on Sunday. I have a passing rain or snow shower in the forecast for Monday at this point does not look significant and the theme next week will be a return to some slightly cooler than normal conditions. Tony's going to have an update 